Hello everyone, my name is Bimity and welcome to the first King of the Hill recap. Over the past month, a lot has happened with King of the Hill. If you don't know what King of the Hill is, King of the Hill is a medieval style leaderboard where people can 1v1 each other and compete to get to the top spot as the king. If you want to learn more about King of the Hill, there is a video on Frith's channel that explains all the roles, rules, and what you can do to earn points in King of the Hill. So let's check out how the leaderboard has changed over the past month. Over the past month, a lot has changed ranks wise. Frith has remained king for this past month and three new noblemen have came up. Those being Jarvis, Lord Gigapillar, and Guac. Two players have climbed really high up the leaderboard and have both gained around 100 points each. The first player being Spyro, going from a peasant with only 303 points to a lord with 402 points. Black Pawn was also a peasant with 269 points and then became a lord with 350 points. Not to mention that Jarvis also joined in and started at the middle of the leaderboard and climbed all the way to the second rank really fast. The leaderboard has also grown to now 36 members and growing, and if you want to still join King of the Hill, you still can by going to the CH Community Server, going to the King of the Hill section, and playing the booster pack that we have that you can submit your scores through Scores by, then submit your profile to the Match Submissions tab to then be entered into King of the Hill. There's a new role called a Bard. A Bard acts like a tutor, and it can help you with patterns, score pathing, anything. All you gotta do is contact one of the bards or just message in the tutoring channel and see if you'll get help. You'll either get help through text or a tutor might drag you into a VC to give you one-on-one -on -one help. If you are in King of the Hill and you are struggling to get points and climb up these ranks, there are now King's Challenges. The King can declare a song for a certain amount of time and people will submit their scores through ScoreSpy, speeding it up to however fast they want that the King limited it to. Then the King will distribute points to players that the best on these songs. Now on to a few highlights that happened over this month. The first two Kings class matches happened this month. The first one being Frith versus Gamo, both top players, and Frith came out on top by sweeping the floor with a 4-0 victory. Then Lord Gigapillar stepped up and tried to challenge Frith, and Frith once again swept the floor and won 4-0. Will anyone be able to take Frith's crown? Who will challenge the Kings next? Jarvis, Blacklet, Guac, will one of them take the crown? To end off this highlight of King of the Hill, I have selected four matches at random and just given some highlights over them. Alright, first game up is Prophet vs. Sweeze. The first song was Hourglass Part 2. Sweeze nails these fast parts in the first solo and holds a higher multiplier throughout the whole solo against Prophet. Sweeze is able to hold this combo through most of this song. With a few misses there and here and there, but going into the second solo, Sweeze is able to actually hold a combo for these sweep type patterns and trips. And pulls ahead of Profit. Just look at them play and Sweeze barely missing, pulling a higher percentage than Profit this whole solo, winning by only 100k. Song 2 is another medium where Profit actually almost FCs the song and has a really high combo of 1,200 notes. And in the one solo this song has, Prophet is able to pull ahead in the solo, beating Sweeze and making him win by 30k points. Going into the third match, Amalgamation, Sweeze is behind Prophet before the first solo starts. But once we actually get into the fast strummy bit of the solo, Sweeze is able to hold higher combos than Profit. Look at them strum, and Profit is ending up missing more than Sweeze, while Sweeze is having a higher note count and holds that 4x while activating in the middle of the solo, getting more points to pull ahead of Profit. But later in the song, Profit is able to come back in the second solo and actually FCs the second solo, pulling way ahead of Sweeze. Since they were playing in V23, FCing Souls has a huge advantage. And Sweeze actually wins by only 7k points. What a match by both of these people. Next match is the Butter Danny vs. Sinistery. Their first song was Rolling in Deep 150, and Danny's tapping skills beat out Sinistery through these choruses and these fast tapping parts with these chimney sigs, quints. 
But in the quarter parts, both of them miss quite a bit. But Danny is still able to pull the win by a lot. Second song was Mavis Garquan. Sinister's courting skills beat out Danny in this song and able to pull the win, winning by 50k points. Song 3 is Patterns Tune 150. Danny is able to maintain these higher combos in these faster parts, while Sinister is hard to hold a 2x. And Danny wins on by a lot yet again, so Danny wins 2-1. Next match is Lord Gigapillar versus Neon Demon. First song is Panic Attack. They both maintain high note streaks and have good, good use of star power in these fast strumming bits and just all those weird strum and hopo se sequences. And then once it comes up to the solo, Neon is able to pull a head and outbeat Lord Gigapillar. In these fast parts, Lord Gigapillar misses while Neon still holds their combo. And at the end, Neon is able to pull ahead by only a few points, And but Lord Gigapillar still wins. Next song is Monster.exe. Neon beats the drops. There's nothing else to this song. Neon wins by 30k. Next song is A Man, A Plan in Canal Panama 110. Giga has some good activations at these chords and is out... And is able to get a lot of points. And then Giga outperforms Neon at this weird little funky part right here. And holds his combo through most of it. And Neon is barely keeps his combo for a bit. And then Giga ends up winning yeah, by 60k points. Next match. Archwick versus Jarvis. Jarvis? At these fast parts, holds a higher combo than Arch. You do not mess with Jarvis. Just look at him at these fast texting sections. While Arch can't hold a combo, Jarvis is just going ham. And he also used star power way more. And just just look at this. Like, he, you can't stop him. He's just holding these combos while Arch can't even hold it. At this final solo, he, he is holding star power more. Because he saved up a lot more before the solo. And it maintains this throughout most of the solo. Be making him be able to win. By a huge margin. You can't beat him. He won by 230k. Next time is Scars of Yesterday 150. And just look at, look at Jarvis. Look at him go. He's standarding this too. Just outperforms Arch by a huge mile. And then just at the solo. Need I say more? He dominates the solo, beating Arch by a lot. And I think Jarvis didn't even know what chart this was as well. Just completely wipes the floor in the solo, beating Arch by a lot in that solo. It's just, he, he, you will not believe this. Jarvis wins by 300k points. Thank you everyone for watching. Reminder to join the CH community server to either join King of the Hill or just to hang out with some CH community members. I hope you all have a good day.